Let me turn it down. Let me turn it down so y'all can hear me. Hi, how y'all doing? This is AL Thick Madam. And I don't even know if this is going to be a married man side half a saga or a what a day post or what because it's a lot. Maybe it just needs to be combined in some way. Okay, y'all. So I didn't just got off work. Of course, they tried me. And I had to pull a 12 hour shift. I'm gonna have to pull a 12 hour shift tomorrow because they are gonna need two bodies. And even though I go down to the bottom of the rotation list on Sunday, they probably gonna try me yet again because they are gonna need four bodies. And because of the way that the schedule is, it's not gonna work because everybody is not gonna be at work who, you know what I'm saying, are closer to the top, if not at the top of the rotation list at the moment. And other people who are there, as I've already mentioned before, whether they're working or not, they are not allowed to work over time. Yeah, I'm very, very sick of this. I am so sick and tired of being sick and tired. Y'all already know where I'm at. Every single time, y'all already know. I don't know why I parked so far away this time. Wait a minute, I can't even reach it. can't even reach it. So yeah, y'all. Um, like my dough back. Y'all, I'm so tired of my spirit. So, let me tell y'all about what's been going on. Let me turn it down just a little bit more because it's hot out here today. It's hot out here. It's hot out here. Real hot out here today. Who is this? Y'all, hold on for a second. Just two. <laughs> two random people. Child, hold on. I don't know what's about to happen, but we're going to see in a minute. Okay, then. Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So yeah, y'all, I'm tired. I done got all work. And so, okay, where do I even want to begin? Because so many things, so many things have been going on. Okay, so the person who I've been partnered up with for this week, um, she works in my department. Her home department is my department. So, you know, she know what to do. She is somebody who is having to pull overtime as well but as of right now she is just going on ahead and signing up for it because they're gonna get up for it anyway whatever it is what it is y'all people have been asking whether or not she and the side heifer have beef so then she just came to me like yesterday and was like I don't understand. Like people keep coming up to me. Like this is like the third person who came up to me asking me if she and I have beef. And you know what I'm saying? So the short answer has been no. Like we barely speak when we do have to work together, which is the truth. The only interaction, if you will, that they've actually ever had between the two of them has been when the side heifer kept mispronouncing her name. And my thing is this, my thing is this, if, if you are bad with names, say that. I understand that. But the way that the side heifer operates, I feel as though she knows how to pronounce the woman's name. Because one minute she'll say it right, and the next minute she won't. And so the woman got tired of it and she just repeated and said, my name is this. That's literally all she said to her. So the side heifer got mad and was in her feelings for the rest of the day. But y'all know, they have to get in her feelings about nothing all day, every day anyway. So anyway, that's the only interaction they've had. They haven't gotten into any arguments, fights, none of that or whatever because they've had to work together a few times. Okay, so now fast forward to what's presently happening, which is people have been coming up to her and people have actually asked me are they beefing and I'm like no like y'all know that the married man that she is screwing try to roll up on everybody and the most that is going on in that situation is that she has seen that he done rolled up on her or has heard that he has rolled up on her and he and his feelings about that well she and her feelings about it and I mean, she, I, I, I just feel like she one of them people that ain't gonna bust a grape. I feel like she ain't gonna bust a grape. So I'm just like, girl, why you always wanna act like you have all this smoke? But when it comes time for you to put your money where your mouth is, 
after all this talking, you don't do it. Like, girl, shut up. Shut up. That's what you need to do. So anyway, the woman feels some type of way because she's like, I don't bother nobody. I don't do nothing to nobody. I don't understand why it's basically, it's been a topic of conversation because I told her straight up, I was like, well, this person in particular asked me the other day and the same person who came to her said the same thing. He was like, oh, y'all got beef, don't you? And she was like, no. And I was right there when that conversation happened. So, you know what I'm saying? And I told her what I said, which was when this person asked me, do they have beef? I said, no, they don't have beef, but you know, he didn't try to roll up on her. So some kind of way she probably found out about it and she has her own personal way of being towards her, whether there's beef or not, but they ain't been arguing and all this other stuff like the other person who got fired. Cool. Y'all tell me why she had been trying to like not feel some type of way about it since yesterday. So she took it home. She tried to ignore it. And she came to me and she was like, you know, when I first got here and things were happening with her and the married dude and this other woman who at first she didn't like, but now they're cool. You told me that if it's something that gets out of hand, don't risk your job. You know what I'm saying? Don't risk your livelihood. Go tell HR or whoever you need to talk to, right? And she told me she very much so appreciates that because she can be petty and she can actually go from zero to a hundred, meaning she will whoop this heifers behind. So I'm like, okay. And I can tell that you, I mean, and then like before she even started working there, there's this woman who has known her since she was a child because she grew up next door to her. She is best friends with her son who just so happens to be gay. And I'm bringing that up for a reason. Um, <clears throat> so it just is what it is when it, com when it comes to that situation. And so, you know, she had already told me she ain't nothing, she ain't nobody to be trifled with. And if anybody try her when she in there, you know, once she come on, it's going to be a wrap. Like she one of the people, she don't play that at all. Like, once you get to that point of no return, it's going to be a wrap for you. So it would be wise for you not to bother her. Okay, so I already had the heads up, but I don't try to bother nobody anyway. And I only respond to, you know, certain things that are passed off to me. Or if you have tried me, depending on how I'm feeling that day, it might be a wrap for you. And like I told her, I told her, I said, because like I told y'all, I just told y'all, she said that she, you know, she thanked me for telling her, you know, what to do because that kind of kept her from going off thus far because I straight up told her, ignore these people in here. A lot of these people are messy and drama filled and do not have lives. Ignore them, especially her because she over here in her feelings over a man that don't even belong to her. Like girl, bye. He rolling up on her asking for her number and all this other stuff, and he be rolled up on her trying to touch her and all this other stuff. Sir, you have a wife at the house. Whether your wife is on board with what you got going on or not, if other people around you do not want the energy that you are giving off and don't want to be a part of entanglements and other foolishness like that, then go somewhere else. Go find somebody else who is here for it. Go find other people who do not have a self-esteem, who do not value themselves and all of that, and leave us alone. Because I'm definitely not here for it. I'm sorry. I'm just really not. And I, I mean, I don't know what it is, but people who are trash in most cases are the ones who try to roll up on me. And that's how I already be knowing, like, it ain't finna be what it, what, you know, it, it ain't finna give what it post to gave. Because if you coming at me like, oh, I want to Netflix and chill. And oh, do you have a man? And, and like she just told me today, how dare you come up to me asking me, oh, well, are you single? Sir, you never divulged what your relationship status was, but you want to know if everybody else got somebody or not. Why? When you ain't even giving out yours. Why do you even need to know that? Child, I just be like, what is wrong with... These people be having all the audacity. And like I keep trying to tell y'all, like when I tell y'all this woman is like the younger version of me, she is literally saying everything that I've said to y'all, which is that the married man is not an ugly person. Like... He is not ugly, but he just, he looked dirty 
look nasty. Like, and the fact that he be dealing with the side heifer, she trash. If y'all saw her mouth, the inside of her mouth, and the scars on her face, and just how she look, it, like, it, I, I already put up an example of what she kind of looked like or whatever, but if you saw her in person, she looks a little bit worse than that dude. You know, and then somebody said that, you know, the dude ain't no ugly dude that's a rapper that I put up a picture of, but she literally looks like a rough dude. And there, and I'm not trying to make it seem like, oh, oh, you trying to be against people who are androgynous or something like that. Or people, some of the people, there are plenty of people who have strong faces. This ain't no situation of a strong face. She just legit is just ugly and look like a dude. But anyway, um, I just feel like she has so much vitriol towards myself and the other people like on a higher level because we don't look like her. We ain't toe down to the ground like her. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, why are you so bothered? I, I, I'm not understanding because for one, for me personally, I came in and I'm the type of person that when I come into a place, I don't know y'all. I'm not really trying to get to know y'all. I'm here to do my job and go home. So I don't care nothing about what y'all got going on and what y'all trying to create up in there. If it ain't got nothing to do with work, I don't really care. Now, if friendships, you know, take place and come about, that's fine. I only have one real full on friend that I've made from working at that place and she no longer works there and she better not come back. But anyway, um, she is everything. Like she real, we ain't never had no like argument. We don't agree on everything because we are our own individual selves. Like we're <laughs> individuals. We don't have to like the same stuff, you know what I'm saying, all of that. But I'm just saying, as a person, she dope. She do what's, what she's supposed to do. She does right by me. I do right by her. She actually is a real friend to me. She is the definition of have what a true friend is supposed to be. She embodies what a real friend is. And that ain't me trying to make it seem like, oh, she done gave me money or something. Like, it ain't nothing like that even going on. I'm just saying. So most of them people up in there, I would never even want to hang out with them outside of work. So why you think I'm finna come to you and talk to you about my personal life? Don't none of y'all know whether or not I like men, women, both. Am I, do I go by they, them, it, or whatever? Y'all don't know if I'm married. Y'all don't know if I have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or both. Y'all don't know if, if I'm poly. Y'all don't know what I got going on. But you want to sit up here and get upset because there are people who live for me when I didn't ask for the attention. I'm over here doing my job, but you want to be mad because people are getting their life because I exist. You mad because of the people who aren't gay, who want to befriend me and want to talk to me and will come out of nowhere and ask other people about me when they don't see me because I might go missing for a week or so because I'm taking off because I don't be announcing when I'm going nowhere. I don't announce to them folks, oh, I'm taking off 99% of the time. You ain't going to find out until you look at the schedule. You're not going to find out because I'm not telling you. So anyway, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to figure out where and what part of the game is this that you thought that I was going to come in the door and tell y'all, ooh, hey, I got a boyfriend, I got a girlfriend, we're going to talk about this. I'm not talking to none of y'all about that. None of them. When I tell you none of them, none of them knew what my relationship status was when I came in the door. None of them. Almost none of them still know what my relationship, almost none of them are still in the dark about it. About it. So I'm just like, y'all need to do something else with your life. Because for all you know, I could have been in a relationship. For the last 10 years, when I was in a relationship for 10 years, I had I was in a relationship with somebody for 10 years. So I was at jobs. I was at like, what, two jobs before this one. So within two years, well, three because of that part-time job. But yeah, I'm at two different jobs, three different jobs. And I'm having to constantly tell people, I'm not interested, I have a man. I'm not interested, I have a man. I'm not interested, I have a man. But now, this is the first time in 10 years that now I'm having to, you know, if it were to come up, I would have to 
formulate a way to explain to them, I'm not interested in anything. No, I'm, I don't have anybody. If that's what I want to do. But it was easier back then because I didn't have to, you know, decide, oh, let me tell my business or whatever because people might run with it and whatever, whatever. So anyway, y'all, I just, that's something that always blew me because it's like, you don't even know what I got going on. I could have a whole husband that I'm happy, very happy with. And you over here assuming that I want this dusty dude. Because to me, he ashy, dusty, and all of that. Because like, And then, like I told y'all before, earlier, I just told y'all that he is not an ugly person. If I had to describe who he looked like as far as a celebrity is concerned, he looked like the game in the face. He is actually, like, just not, I'm just not attracted to him at all, though. The game ain't ugly to me. Slash Jadena ain't ugly to me. You know what I'm saying? He looks like the game. And y'all, anybody who ever seen the game, y'all know what he looked like. That ain't no ugly man. He just trifling. But anyway, um, just like him. So, I mean, I just have never been moved by him. Even before I found out what the issue was, I just was never into him. Nothing about him was appealing to me. So it just it just always blew me. And I'm just like, girl, what is wrong with you? I do not care about this man's existence. But every time I look up, he want to know all about me. Do you enjoy the department that you're working in? Whenever he did ask about work, every blue moon, he would ask me, did I enjoy working up there? And I'd be like, I mean, it's all right. But otherwise, he trying to Netflix and chill. And he want to know, can we hang out outside of work and all of that? For what? For what? For what? I don't even care if I had time. Like now I don't have time. I don't care if I did have time. I don't want to hang out with you. Because you are not my type. You are someone who I don't look at in a way where I'm like, ooh, I'm romantically or I'm physically attracted to you. Like at all. When he was smaller, I wasn't attracted to him. Now he didn't gain some weight. I'm not attracted to him. I'm, I'm just not. Not here for him at all. So we gonna take marriage and all that out of the equation and just, it's just gonna be what it is. I am not attracted to him at all. But you wanna sit up here side helper and be in your feelings over a dude who's taking it upon himself to roll up and I didn't ask for it. Sir, if you don't get off my bumper, doing the most of a, a truck coming full speed, you think I'm finna bust out. Anyway, y'all, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, I just be looking like, can you not, like, why? Anyway, so now that I got that out, so today I went on my lunch break and I came back. So I went to break 10 minutes late because my partner had to go to the bathroom. So I was like, okay, so I'm waiting on her to come back. And I already knew that was going to make me late, you know, going to my lunch break, cool, whatever. So I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm waiting and I'm talking because some stuff popped off, talking to somebody. Oh, okay, let me hurry up because they're doing construction work. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Um, so I'm waiting on her to get back. So when I come back from my break, the uh side heifer has appeared. And I'm like, heifer, why are you even here? You are in the new department today. 99% of the time she's working in the new department. So in my mind, I'm like, why are you here? It doesn't make sense for you to even be up here. Where you work is nowhere near here. Why would you be up here? You got to climb steps and some more to come here. Why? You're, you're, you're not on the schedule to be anywhere near here. So why are you here? So and I'm already looking like, okay, you up here. Then second, second uh, file, flagrant file and, and red flag and some more. Why are you over here on the side of the department that I'm working on? Girl, why are you over here? So I just was looking sideways at her the entire time as I got closer to where I was going to put my um, belongings down at. Because I'm just like, why is this heifer over here? So she knew what to do. The closer I got, she finally started moving away. Because it's like, why are you here? I'm not understanding why you're even over here, ma'am. Heifer, whatever you, you, you're going to be going by today. I'm just not understanding what you over here for. So anyway... I'm just like, girl, what, what are you here for? And then she proceeded to stand over there like an additional five minutes talking to somebody. And then she went on about her business. But I'm just like, girl, like she disappeared in the thin air. And I was just like, I don't understand why you're here. 
And then, like, it's funny because before I got all the way to my side of the department to start back, you know, working, because we were still training people. I was training, um, I was training the same person I've been training. But um, he is going to actually be in my department, meaning my department is his department. Now, the other guy who's been over there that we always go back and forth, his department is the side. No, no, no. His department is somebody else's department, which is the most hated department, which I told him was going to be his department, which is funny because once I found that out, I said, you lying, right? And the person who told me was like, no, that's his department. I said, I told him. I told him once he told me he put in a bid for that job that he was going to be in the most hated department. That particular department, he was like, no, I'm not going to be in your department. Oh, he just knew he was going to be in my department and work with me. I said, no, you're not. He ended up in the um, most hated department. So when, you know, I had a moment, my partner had went to break. I said, let me go over here and taunt him real quick. I said, yeah. So I heard that you were working in the most hated department. I heard that that's your department. He was like, huh? And then he realized what I said. So he started smirking. He was like, oh, you heard about that, huh? I was like, yeah. He was like, oh, did you come over here to gloat? I said, yeah, a little bit. And I bust out laughing. Yeah, he started shooting birds at me and everything. It was hilarious. It was. It, it made my moment. It, it made my day a little bit. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Okay, so the side helper then disappeared. And I'm like, child. So tap the same dude now. I knew I brought him up for a reason. So the same dude that I was just talking to, he said, where is my partner? I said, she down there. She was over on my side sitting down you know doing nothing because we didn't really have to do nothing unless we wanted to because that's what we trained the people so she was just sitting down doing nothing so he went over to where she was and sat down with her and was in his phone and showing something to her so i was like oh okay cool whatever because they you know they they, they seem pretty you know chummy so then she politely gets up like after 10 minutes of talking to him speed walks down to me and was like girl tell me why he came over here and was spilling all the tea. I said, what are you talking about? What you mean? <sighs> this cold air is going in my throat. Wait a minute. It made me. <clears throat> I'm choking. Excuse me. So I was like, what is this tea? So I don't think I told y'all this before. I knew this little tidbit, this particular tidbit. So I'm going to go ahead and share with y'all one of the things I wasn't going to share with y'all, which was this woman who the married man slept with. So anybody who come across this video that know why I work and all that stuff, because you work there, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. So there's a little person at my job. And, you know, I'm cool with her. I ain't got no issues with her. She don't do nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? She's nice to me or whatever. Well... Apparently, she pays men to please her. He has been one of the ones who has supposed to have been um, pleasing her. I don't know if the services have ended because she does not want smoke with the side heifer and or whatever. But they, you know, talk still. The married man and the little person. They talk. Um... I've seen them like talking, like having a one on one conversation. So it wouldn't surprise me if he's still doing a little something for the change. My friend, who is the divorced person, he had already told me, I don't know how many, almost a year ago, that this was going on. And I just refused to believe it. Information keep on coming up as of recent of everything that he's told me. And I already told y'all before, like everything this man had ever told me it ended up being what it was. Either I would hear from the horse's mouth eventually, or I would hear for the, from the horse's mouth right then and there. So, yeah. Uh, everything he didn't ever say, it's been what it was. So, this woman paying people to come over to her house and screw her. One particular time, <laughs> she paid somebody to come over there and screw her. They didn't do what they needed to do. She wasn't satisfied. She called somebody else and paid them. And I was like, wait a minute. So, she paid two people in one night. And they were like, yeah. I was like, child... Mm -mm. so um i don't know if he do it for the free sometimes but he has definitely knocked her off a couple of times well maybe more than a couple um but yeah she don't like you know the side heifer don't like her <clears throat> okay 
There are a lot of people who are in the new department who cannot stand the side heifer. One of the nicest people that I have ever met who actually works in my department, who is working in the new department because he has trained and when they need bodies, they will pull him. He's been over there the last couple of days and he's been venting. He was like, man, I can't stand her. She got such a nasty attitude and she take breaks too long. She'll be gone. Like everything that I've been telling y'all, this is what she do. Take breaks as long as she want to take them. Stay gone an hour here, an hour there. Walk around, do everything but what she's supposed to do. Apparently, she don't be cleaning her area. Like it's just a lot of stuff that she ain't doing that she's supposed to be doing. Yet and still, she's on the payroll. Keep getting attitudes, nasty attitudes with people and all this other stuff. And I'm like, child, I don't understand why they keep acting like she is just needed when she ain't. Y'all gonna work the mule out of us anyway. I'm glad, look, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm glad to keep on working over or coming in early if they go ahead and fire this heifer. Fire her. Fire her. <laughs> fire that heifer. Um... <clears throat> But it's to the point where there have been so many people setting it off. Like, and you know what? What I'm going to do is, anytime I find out it's somebody that I know that I'm cool with, I'm going to be like, make sure you go to your supervisor and tell them that this happened so that they can keep on having a record. And eventually they're going to be like, hell, for you to come to nominate you need to go. You're the weakest link. You're the weakest, weakest link. Goodbye, all of that. Like, cause I'm tired. Everybody tired. And it's like, how you go from three departments, between three departments, and can't nobody stand you. Then you go to the new department, can't nobody stand you. Girl, uh, but woe is me. Woe is me. <laughs> Whenever things get back to you, that somebody done dropped a dime on you. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Um... But yeah, um, she in her feelings yet again, and then she want to look crazy in the face and be on the verge of tears when people go to supervisors and whatnot on her. And other people who don't even talk about that in particular, they end up going to her supervisor on her because she ain't following rules. I'm just waiting on the day for her to get fired. That's what I'm waiting on. That's what I'm waiting on. I'm because I'm tired. But, um, I'm sorry. As I've told y'all before, I feel like the married man would screw anything with an orifice. Man, woman, wouldn't surprise me if it was children because there are people around that that's been screwing children, one of which who is in jail right now. I'm just saying, the people are trifling around here. Yeah. I'm talking about this man had a whole wife. He was married once before, then he ended up getting married again. I don't know why the first marriage failed, but they had taken in a child and um, he told me about the child and everything. Now I'll be doggone the next week. Somebody's like, did you hear what happened? I'm like, what? Tell my they walked that man out the building in handcuffs because of him sexually abusing, molesting, all of that, a child, a little girl very much so underage little girl but people are trifling everywhere i just i just i just can't um <clears throat> i feel like a lot more happened but i don't know what else to tell y'all because i'm trying to keep it at you know no more than 30 minutes so yeah y'all i'm sick and tired of all these people i just come to work to get my check and go home um <laughs> i'm tired I'm going to have to pull a 12-hour shift tomorrow, and the way it's looking, I might have to pull it Sunday, too, even though I'm not supposed to because I'm going to be at the bottom of the rotation list. But it's all because they won't let the new people work. And this is the stupid part about that. Almost every single new person I've talked to, when I'm telling them, oh, I'm working over, because they put a brand new person with me today, another gay person, put him with me. And was and he was talking to me. He was like, oh, I want, oh, I want, he was like, oh, I want all the overtime. And I was like, I wish you could take it from me because I don't want it. I'm pulling a 12 right now. I don't want to do this. I want to be off when I'm supposed to be off. I don't want to have to fight in order to get my day off, which I'm really supposed to have to. Anyway, y'all, I done bored y'all enough. Thank y'all for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Give this video a thumbs up. 
How y'all doing today? <laughs>